Okay, so um, I'm not sure how the camera angle is, so bear with me here. I actually don't care how it is, but. <laughs> so I just added a couple fonts to my saber here. Um, I'm really excited about both Kyberphonic fonts. We all know a couple that he's released recently, and I'm just I'm pretty excited to get them on my saber here. I've always wanted a saber that you can um, turn on without the actual saber and just the chassis. Master, destroy us. Boom. Anyway, there's probably an easier way to do this, but like when you put the chassis in, it has to line up with the hole and never mind, I'm stopping there. Cole's gonna be making jokes. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna demo a couple fonts here. So the first one I'm gonna show is the ESB Graphlex version two. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, a lot of people have played with that one already. It's just, you know, it's awesome, classic. So uh, I'll go ahead and I will show off that one real quick. And then the second one I'm even more excited for, so. Commander Skywalker, do you copy? All right, so that was the ESB Graphlex version two. It's awesome, I love it. Uh, it's just very nostalgic. Jesse, you killed it, man. I need to mess around and put more quotes on it and stuff like that, because I know that's like what takes the longest and I definitely want to appreciate that more. So um, I'm definitely going to be going through like all the quotes and trying to put them on my saber. So, hey, just real quick, uh, I just have to do a couple of advertisements for my sponsors, you know, big channel and all, right? I mean, sometimes, you know, they just don't know when to let up. So I got to put on my glasses here to read some copy. So just give me one second here. Are you constantly being ridiculed by your friends and family for buying too many lightsabers? Well, maybe it's time that you look deep down and ask yourself, do I have a lightsaber addiction? If you do, then you should join Sabers Anonymous. Sabers Anonymous isn't exactly what it sounds like. You don't have a problem. Lightsabers are cool and you should keep buying them. Just be smart about your money, of course. Sabers Anonymous isn't about admitting that you have an addiction. Sabres Anonymous is a place for all Sabre enthusiasts to get together and commiserate about how their friends and family just don't get it. I'm sorry to sound so monotone when I read these, you guys. I just gotta do it, you know, the check and everything. It's the way I make the money. You know, that's why they pay me the big bucks, so. You can talk about how the missus or the mister won't let you buy any more, which is ridiculous because, uh, excuse me, they're awesome. We understand. It's not fair. You should be able to get as many lightsabers as you want. Sabres Anonymous. Give us a call today at 1-800-BURRITO. Thanks for dealing with that, you guys. I mean, seriously, you know, gotta make the money somehow, am I right? The next one is The Duel. Uh, it's his version of the Ronin and the Bandit from the first episode of Visions, which is my second favorite episode of Visions. I like them all. That one and number seven are my favorite. Number seven is my favorite just because Tajin is definitely like anime Qui-Gon. So this is the Ronin. I didn't put the Bandit one on my saber yet, uh, but I, I did the Ronin one. Uh, so I'm really excited. So this is like a real uh, first reaction from me on this font. Just a simple wonder. Oh, I got the blasters on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that ignition is so cool. Or excuse me, the retraction. Here we go, ready? I love how slow they are. Ooh. Wait, what does he do? 
I'm probably not doing it right. And then don't they go like this? Like this? I don't know. I probably look stupid. Whatever. Here's my uh, my visions stance. <laughs> don't take yourself too seriously. So I like visions. I don't know about you guys, but I liked it. I thought it was good. I don't really have any complaints. You know, some of them were different than others. All of them were different than the others. So, but other than that, uh, I mean, this is great. You know, the second it, that Jesse dropped it, I had to buy it. So, so I just love like the staticky sounds. It's very, uh, it just, it fits the aesthetic perfectly of the uh, actual art style of that episode. So, oh. It's like a mild, it's kind of like a mild Kylo Ren unstable sound. Um, and I like that a lot. I like that a lot. It just sounds like, it just sounds like the Saber's been through hell, man. And there's like a slight, and this could just be me like wanting to hear this. I don't know, but like it sounds, the classes sound slightly metallic like real samurai swords, you know? Or maybe it's just the um, the sharpness of like the, the the ictus of some, some might say, some of you might not know that word, but the sharpness of that initial hit and maybe even the, uh, it's actually slightly, you know, more separated and short. I kind of like that. And it sounds almost like real swords. So for the five people who subscribe to me, if by chance you don't know who Kyberphonic is, uh, you should, and, and you have a lightsaber and you know how to put fonts on your lightsaber, I would recommend you buy his fonts because they're awesome.